the uh, the conflict. Speaking of conflict, the conflict on Fox and Friends between co-hosts Steve Ducey and Brian Kilmeade is taking on awkward and epic proportions. This has been going on for a while, and I've told you before that Steve Ducey has been increasingly interjecting some fact, some reality into the discussions on Fox and Friends. And Brian Kilmeade really doesn't like it. And here is yet another example where they're sort of arguing like a like an old couple of sorts. Uh, here is Steve Ducey talking about the latest Trump indictment and Kilmeade doesn't like it. This clip is from um, our friend over at Decoding Fox News. Take a listen. He got a bunch of bad advice from his lawyers. He was doing what his lawyers, who Mike Pence referred to a couple of days ago, as his, his crackpot lawyers. Or three, he believed he actually had won. Now, here's the problem with that. Ty Cobb, who actually uh, was employed by Donald Trump during the Mueller investigation, he was one of Trump's lawyers, said that uh, he tweeted this, or he put this on Facebook. He said, there will be evidence from several witnesses in this case that Donald Trump knew he lost. He said, I lost. And then Ty Cobb goes on to say, it's going to be a DC jury. And this is the last line of Ty Cobb. He said, Donald Trump, he's toast. Well, Steve, Steve I, that's where he's been. But I will say this. Who cares what Ty Cobb says? <laughs> Anybody who's been lawyer. around? Yeah, but he was his lawyer. We wasn't around him for the last a year and a half of the uh, Brian, law I'm investigation. Just, I'm just reporting but, the facts. No, but, 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 but yeah, think about this. Reporting. Everybody around Trump, in, in casual conversation, in right. serious conversation, on tour and beyond, We'll, cause we'll not go five seconds without him saying he won the election. He was down Sean Hannity's throat for not uh, defending right. him Brian, what for I the said January was, 6th. I said Ty Cobb but says they, they have and my, several and people who were told right. by Trump, that's fine. I know so, I lost. But that's fine. He says, you know, <laughs> he lost. So you're going to, wait a second. Isn't this great? So they believe that there's going to be traction in a courtroom because Ty Cobb and a few other people said he lost when almost everybody else said he won. Why is that even part of this legal case? Because he sincerely believed that he lost the election. I didn't even think that was going to be even brought up. A lot of people just said to him, drop it. I well, know how you feel. Change the subject. Yeah, so Attorney General Bill Barr has said. There you go. Not going super well between Brian Kilmeade and Steve Ducey. And of course, as always, many of the facts get mistaken or misstated or lost in these discussions. The issue of whether Trump believed he had won or lost is not actually at issue here. The idea that if this is why it's important, OK, Trump and others around him seem to think that if they can demonstrate in his heart of hearts, Trump thought he won, that it makes the attempts at strong arming state election officials and the conspiracy to set up fake elector slates that if Trump thought he won, none of that stuff is criminal. The problem is that is not what is in the indictment and that is not what the law says. So if that's the approach that they are going to take legally, you know, Kilmeade says, I don't even know why this is being mentioned as a legal argument. I don't even know why there's this obsession as to what Trump really thought, because it says right in the indictment, this is not about what Trump really thought, whether Trump said I actually won truthfully or whether Trump said I actually won knowing it was untrue does not actually have a bearing on the criminality of the actions for which Trump has been indicted. So we'll obviously follow whether that legal argument is made in court, as I said last segment. But I'm also really interested in how there seems to be trouble in paradise over there at Fox and Friends. We're going to keep an eye on it.